everybody, it's your boy Guapo checking in here. And today, I'm gonna be bringing y'all a video of how to lace your Jordan 6s. I'm gonna be using the Jordan 6 metallic silver, as you can see right here. And these just dropped yesterday. By the way, if you haven't seen the review for these, go check it out. I just dropped it yesterday, literally, like the day before I'm making this video. So go check it out. And I'm gonna show y'all just how to get them like this, how you can lace them like this, because I honestly feel like this is one of the best looking on feet lacing methods, to be honest, to have your shoes looking right. So I'm about to show y'all how to do it. And basically this is the same method, it's just at the top. If you want them tied, then you just stop before the last hole. But if you don't want them tied, you just lace them through the last hole. But I'm gonna show y'all how to get them right. So y'all make sure to leave a like, comment if you have any questions and let's not waste no more time, let's just get into it. I also forgot to mention, I'm gonna have a quick on foot at the end of the video so y'all can see how they actually look on my feet and not just in hand. So you can get a real clear visual of how they'll look when you try this lacing method. So now let's get into it. So you wanna start out by putting them through the first two holes because you know, that's how you lay shoes. So get that right. Make sure the laces are even as well while you're pulling it through so that your laces won't be mismatched. And also make sure that they lay flat. So you probably gonna have to flip them around, get them right. And once you got your laces through the first hole, you just want to regularly lace it through the next two holes. So that's what we're about to do. And always make sure you have room with your laces when you're lacing them. Don't, you don't want them too tight because then it'll just mess up the on foot look. You know what I mean? You can't be walking around with the sir yes sirs. So you got to get it right. All right, once you get through those next two holes, you wanna take your lace lock. And I usually prefer to put my lace lock in right here. Usually a lot of people, they have their lace lock all the way up here or somewhere in this area. And I just feel like it takes away from the look of the shoe. So I like to put my lace lock in after the third hole. So that's what we're about to do. And always make sure that your laces are flipped the right way. This part may be a little, just a tad bit difficult because you know you're messing with the lace lock, but it's super easy at the same time. As far as just like flipping the laces around, you might have to do a little extra on that part, but super easy, super easy to do. Now you can also position your lace lock to where you want it to be to make sure that it's in the middle or however you want it to be. But for this part, regularly lace the shoe all the way up to the second to last hole. So let's get it. Now this part is, it's, it's a little bit difficult because you can't really see what's going on, so you kind of got to feel your way through, but we got it now, so y'all don't worry about that. I don't even, don't even trip on that. You get right here, you just wanna go back and pull on the laces to make sure that you got the right amount of room and you can either tie it right here or if you want them to look like this, just lace it through this next hole at the top and then they'll hang like this. But usually I just tie my laces right here at this point. So that's how you do it. And once you're done, this will be the finished product. If you tie it before the last hole, then it'll look like this. 
But if you just want your laces to hang, just lace it through the last hole and it'll hang like this. But I'm about to get a quick on feet for y'all. Also make sure to subscribe because we're going bigger and stronger each and every day. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all for tuning in. But until next time, we out of here.